Hey everybody, this is Everyday Commentary, and this is a video overview of this knife. This knife is a nameless folder, and it's made by uh, Tobin Smith. You can see there is his maker mark right there. And I'm gonna just walk you through this knife a little bit. Uh, there's not a whole lot here. It's a very simple, basic knife. Kind of reminds me of a Kit Carson. And then I'll talk about what I like and what I don't like. So uh, this is micarta. This is a sort of uh, very light or cream colored micarta. And this is black G10 of the black G10 bolster. As you can see, it has very thick stainless steel uh, or maybe titanium, I don't know, liners. And it has a relatively thick blade and the blade is CTS XHP. And as you can see, uh, Tobin put an amazing, amazing edge on this knife. This knife is one of the sharpest knives I've ever owned. It is just a laser. Uh, the knife is very well rounded. Everything has been touched by the human hand and it's been rounded off. It has a, um, a uh, sculpted titanium pocket clip, which actually has some spring tension to it. So I like the pocket clip. It's not my favorite pocket clip in the world, but it is one of the better uh, sculpted titanium pocket clips. Uh, the blade shape, as you can see, is a pretty subtle drop point, and it opens with uh, a single right-handed thumb stud. This is a very much right-handed knife, as the thumb stud is only on one side, and the liner requires you to use uh, a right-handed close. So uh, let me go through a little, so that's, that's the specs. I can tell you that I bought this knife off of uh, Tobin on Instagram, and I think he sold it to me for $400, which is a really good a really good buy, given how nice this knife is. This is a full custom knife. There's no other one like it. Um, he has made a couple other models like it, but none with this sort of combination of materials. Um, there's also, as you can see here, a carbon fiber backspacer. Overall, the blade length comes in right at three inches. There's no sharpening choil, or no ricasso, uh, or sharpening choil, and there's no, um, uh, half and half finger choil. Overall, uh, also there's no jimping. Overall, I really like this knife. It's super, super simple. It reminds me of some Kit Carson designs that are out there. Um, and it is definitely worth the $400 that I paid. Um, there is a lot of, there are a lot of custom knives out there and a lot of them are way more than $400. But for the money, this is one of the better buys. I mean, this is basically the price of a Sebenza. It has better steel than a Sebenza. And uh, while the fit and finish is probably not as good as a Sebenza, I mean, those are some crazy machining tolerances, it is really a smooth knife. I mean, you can snap it open. And let's see, let's see if we can do that on camera. There, you can snap it open. Or you can roll it open, and it's pretty darn nice. I will say that when I got the knife, the detent was a little weak, so that I had to get real close to the edge before it sucked in. And then if I closed it too quickly, if I gave it like one of these kind of cuts, it would pop out. But I sent it back to Tobin and he fixed it, no problem. He got it back to me quickly and it was obviously of no cost. So I'm very, very pleased with his customer service. I also very much like the design. I think the material choices were right on. And I do in fact like the way that the, um, the pocket clip looks. So those are all the things I like about the knife. Now a couple things I don't like about the knife. This is a really thick knife. If you look at it, here's a comparison to a regular AA battery. But this is this is uh, thicker than a AA battery. Here's the knife up against the uh, most commonly owned knife that I own, which is the Benchmade Mini Grip. And it is much thicker than the Mini Grip. In part, this is because the blade stock is really thick, but it's also because these liners are insanely thick. I would love to see thinner liners on this knife, and I'd also like to see those liners stay, uh, skeletonized. Let's see if we can get down inside there. There's nothing like skeletonizing in this at all. Nothing. So these are some really beefy thick liners that add a lot of weight to the knife and uh, I don't really think they're all that necessary especially given the size of this knife. Um, the other thing that I don't like and you can see it right there is that the... let me see if I can get a, a nail head here. That part of the pocket clip creates like a wall so it's easy to go in, but it's very hard to pull it out. So if you're wearing extra bunchy material, both because there's not quite as much spring tension in a stainless or a titanium pocket clip, and because of this little wall right here, it can sometimes be hard to get out of your pocket. I've noticed that if you just give it a good quick tug, it'll pop out. But if you're wearing thick jeans and you like slowly pull this knife out, you're gonna get it catching on that lip where the fabric has been doubled over and sewn together. So uh, those are the two things I dislike about the knife, but overall, this is a really wonderful knife. It's a fun knife to carry. It cuts well, 
it looks great and it is uh, it's just a very very nice knife from a maker that not a ton of people know a lot about um, he's really great Justin Laffer recommended that I check some of things of his out so I subscribed to his Instagram channel when I saw a knife that I liked that was the right size uh, I bought it and I'm happy I did so uh, when you get a chance go over on the website hopefully I'll have a review up soon but until then this is an overview of the Tobin Smith uh, nameless folder